Okay, Menorca Navy, here we go in news coming out of Baltimore, which really to me is not news. The city of Baltimore has filed in the U.S. District Court for the District of Maryland a lawsuit against the owners and the operators of the Dolly for the damages that occurred when the ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Grace Ocean Private and Synergy both named in a lawsuit for the damages that have occurred. I think everybody with understanding of the legal system expected this to happen. Well, we're going to talk a little bit today about some of the heavy lifters that are out on the site working to get the port of Baltimore opened up. Now, uh, the Chesapeake 1000 is the heavy lifter that is out on site, and we have seen this, I guess best described as a stiff leg barge, stiff leg derrick uh, out working the site, pulling some massive pieces of that bridge debris up. It is quite the piece of equipment. Um, now, being a, being a stiff leg derrick, it doesn't turn independently of the barge. The whole barge has to be turned uh, for uh, the boom, in a sense, to swing. But for what this piece of equipment does, for the heavy lifting capability, and as mobile as it is on the scene, this is one heck of a piece of equipment. Again, uh, a lot of people have talked about the history of this piece of equipment and when it was made in 1972 uh, as part of the Gomar Explore Venture that was a CIA-backed operation for the recovery of a Russian submarine. Now, this, this piece of uh, technology was developed then and was used, I think, in the construction of uh, that, that platform that they used for the operation. But it is awfully, awfully strong. We've got a little bit of information here off the Don John Marine website. Uh, you guys can take a look here and see what what this what this piece of equipment and how it's made up. Now, another piece of equipment that's out there that a lot of people are familiar with is the Weeks 533. This unit was down in Georgia when the Golden Ray was cut up. It was utilized a great deal down on that project. It is a massive derrick barge. It has rotation capabilities, and we have seen this asset being utilized by Resolve on the dolly in the process of moving uh, containers. Uh, this is uh, the machine that has gotten a call to be able to pick up those containers off the ship and then swing them over onto a barge super big 533 500 ton machine 533 ton machine and really impressive to watch you can always tell this machine by its white lattice boom and that red tip up on it and we got a little bit of information coming up on the 533 and again, this, this piece of equipment has been utilized in so many different things. Let me see a little bit of history. It's been, been, been worked as a couple of different names, but everybody now knows it as the 533. But it has done some pretty amazing things over its lifespan and a great asset here on the site. Another one that can't go unnoticed is... Samson, we got an aerial shot of this one, that blue lattice, the white, and then the red tip. This is a Crofton owned uh, asset, and it is a very stout piece of equipment. It has a 350 ton uh, lifting uh, capability. And we expect to see this 
this unit utilized uh, out on the site helping helping with some of those heavy lifting chores they're going to be called upon to to get the port opened you can see just like the chesapeake they've got the ballast tanks flooded on the back of the barge here um, that's so this thing is ready to go to work when they get a call they don't have to spend the time to flood the tanks. She is flooded and ready to go. We did pull a capacity chart off of Crofton's website. So I thought we'd share that with you. Very interesting information and detailed uh, through its uh, boom angle and exactly what it can do. As the boom goes down, it, it loses its weight lifting capacity, but when she's up at height, yeah, 350 tons. Now, one of the workhorses we have seen out there working is this stout little machine. I say little. This is a heavy lifter for sure. This is uh, the Dredge, the Dale, Pyatt. Guys, this thing has a 60-yard capacity clamshell bucket on it 60 yards now if you think that most of the large dump trucks that you see moving about on the streets have a 10 to 12 yard capacity imagine this bucket being filled and able to fill up almost six of those dump trucks with one scoop Massive, massive piece of equipment. The short boom that's on it gives it incredible lifting capabilities and uh, speed to swing back and forth over uh, what it's trying to, to pick up. This is a Cashman asset, and it is known throughout this area. This is the dredging equipment that is utilized a lot in the harbor deepening projects, anywhere where you really can't pump spoil to, you have when you have to load the spoil onto a scow barge, this is what you're going to get. This is what you are going to go to. And this is the machine to call. We got a little information coming up from the Cashman website that it's, it states on it, this clamshell is one of, if not the largest in the Western Hemisphere. But it's going to be called on to get a good bit of that material up from that road deck that's now on the bottom of the river. Very big, heavy equipment. I hope you guys are enjoying this little bit that we put in. This is uh, information that I, I want to get out so you guys can understand what you're seeing uh, when, these, when this equipment is being utilized. It kind of gives you a little background, a little understanding of uh, what it is, what it was designed to do. So I hope this... This helps bring you guys a little closer into uh, the operation and you guys can understand it a little clearer. We'll take a look here at this clam bucket here on the deck. And that's going to do it. We're going to get more of these videos out to you guys as we can to kind of explain all this again. But thanks for watching. Hey, leave us some comments. But most of all, Hey, we want you guys to be safe out there.